The debris was still smoldering after 9-11 when former police detective John Boddy joined a special security detail at Ground Zero with his camera. And the photographs taken from Boddy's unique close-up vantage point are now on exhibit at the Calumet Gallery in downtown Manhattan. John Boddy, good morning. Good morning. Uh, these, are, uh, these are some st stunning and, and striking images. When you were down there that day, did, did you realize what you were getting and the days after? I had a uh, high level of uncertainty if uh, I was getting what, what I was expecting to get um, because of the, um, the level of heat and smoke and the, uh, and the amount of dust. That heat was so intense, by the way, that your cameras actually, you were taking these all with a Leica, correct? I mean, this is, this is film, correct. this is not a digital mm -hmm. camera. You have it next to you. The heat actually burned the enamel off the camera you can see there. Loading some of the film, if I didn't get the film in quick enough, it would actually curl the uh, emulsion of the film and I would have to throw the film out and like quickly reload another. Let's talk about some of the film you actually were able to protect. I want to start by talking about this image of this abandoned motorcycle that's covered in ash. Tell me about that. The appearance that the image has that it's dark and it's nighttime, it was actually like, you know, very, very nice out. This beautiful blue sky was behind me and whoever owned the bike, all his belongings were in the saddlebags. I mean, everything, his wallet, his uh, identification, his keys, everything that this man owned and, 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 and runs his life with. There's a photograph of, uh, of President Bush. We've all seen these iconic, that, that iconic video of President Bush kind of rallying everyone at Ground Zero after 9-11. Uh, and the video is up close, and a lot of the photographs we've seen are up close. You chose to step back a bit. Why? Well, everybody uh, converged on President Bush, and he was there with the megaphone, and he had this firefighter, and um, there was a lot of chanting going on by uh, firefighters. And uh, so I chose to step back, and if you really look at the photograph, like everybody's kind of looking in one direction. And um, I just composed President Bush in the center of the frame as the absolute smallest object there's, there's another photo that, that I thought was particularly uh, haunting. It's this, this photo in the Fresh Kills landfill in Staten Island, uh, New York, where a worker notices a child's toy. And you can see he just becomes visibly deflated when he notices this in the rubble. When you took that photograph, what did you think? That was Eddie o Detective Eddie O'Callaghan, who I'd known for many, many years. Um, very, very tough guy, very tough detective, and he found this, and um, he, for a few minutes, he tried to, you know, carry on. He put the toy off to the side, and uh, he tried to carry on, just sifting through the, uh, the rubble. You'd never seen him like that before? Never. If you had to pick one image um, that people would see, that, 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 that kids would see when they learn about that day, what would it be? Um, there's an image I took, uh, and it just shows this vast pile of steel and just smoldering. It was hot and just, uh, just has a visual impact that is, um, till this day when I stare at it, I just don't take my eyes off of it, you know? John Boddy, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me.